All right, what's going on everybody and welcome back to another episode of Attack of the B Team. Guys, this is episode 123 and uh, before we get started today, just want to let you guys know, just, you know, just a little little thing from me to you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this series and thank you so much for supporting it. Um, for as long as I've been doing it, it's been, you know, I've been doing this since like February of this year and uh, I can't believe we're still going. Of course, we're kind of wrapping things up here. Uh, I'll talk a little bit more about, you know, sort of like the ending of the, the air quotes ending of the series um, when I get there. Uh, but I do have some, some ideas, you know, for it to essentially kind of continue in one way or another. But we'll get to that in the final episode. But today is all about Mars, ladies and gentlemen. So I have some very exciting news. As you guys know, I think it was last episode or two episodes ago, I can't remember, we did get the uh, the schematic for the tier 2 rocket, which means we can go to Mars, and a lot of people in the comments on episode 122 were saying, go to Mars, go to Mars! So I've been doing a lot of work off camera, and I have crafted uh, what we need to build the tier 2 rocket. So we've got the rocket engine, the, the plates, the rocket fins, the nose cone, and the new item for this rocket is the tier 1 booster. Um, and I had to go run around the moon and collecting a bunch more meteoric iron. So I have a, a bunch of extra ones here. But um, before we do that, we actually do need the um, the launch plates. Um, so let me go grab those. Um, those should be in here. I think they just sort of stay with your, your lunar landing module. Um, where are they? Right here. Rocket launch pad. We'll just reuse those suckers because I am not going to... Um, I'm not gonna need him on the, the moon guy. Um, we can just go back and forth with the portals. Oh, that reminds me, before we do launch, I want to make sure that uh, I have some portal stuff. So I'm probably gonna just cut, craft that, and then uh, come back. But I have some very exciting news because as I hear, let me go to the moon, let me go to the moon. I'm gonna show you guys. I flew all over the place. Check this out. I flew all over the place and uh, I made sure that it didn't look like a penis, <laughs> like I was having issues with before. Uh, but I found a whole handful, handful more of dungeons. However, this dungeon, this dungeon, this dungeon, uh, those three that I found, I have not explored yet. I think this guy, was it, <clears throat> my voice, uh, was it this guy right here? I think it was this one, yielded me something very awesome. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm talking about. So check this out. In my, in my, let's talk like an old man. In my travels, I came across this is some, more, some amazing things. <laughs> check this out, guys. I'm very, very pumped about this. We got the moon buggy schematic. I'm throwing my hands in the air like a, like a gangster white kid. Uh, <laughs> but we got the moon buggy schematic for you know the 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 NASA workbench. So we're gonna plug, plug that bad boy in right now. Um, so how do you learn it? Um, there we go. Unlock schematic. Oh, bam. So now we can craft the, right here, the moon buggy. So we'll get to that probably next episode. Um, like I said, today is sort of just about Mars and I'm gonna have to be going around crafting and collecting all a bunch of stuff. I'm not doing videos on that stuff again. I already did it. Um, and probably bored you guys half to death, but on my travels, I also found some other amazing things, like these amazing Technicolor glasses. Uh, I also found these Sonic glasses and, you know, some white stone, uh, shiny ingots. Uh, I also actually, my inventory, well, I found some name tags as well and some more dragon eggs. My inventory got so full that I actually had to leave some stuff there, but um, we can always go back and get it. But I'm actually kind of curious, or I repaired my armor, by the way. I'm kind of curious as to what these do. Oh, actually, I think I know. This is for like the uh, open blocks with the crayons and stuff like that. The sonic glasses, you can actually like hear or see, you see sound or something like that. Um, we might mess with that stuff later, not 100% sure, but basically I did find those two items that were pretty freaking sweet. So let's get to crafting this rocket, shall we? Um, so what we need for this bad boy is, fill this up like that, if I remember correctly. Um, oh, sorry, whoops, this is the wrong rocket. This is the tier one, we need tier two. There it is. So let's do this. I better have craft, okay, okay, come on. Why, what, 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 what? Why isn't letting me craft that? No, please. What? Oh, okay, that's working, that's working. That's working, that's working. Boom, 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 no way, did the, this is what it, this is what it needs, right? 
Heavy. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Did I craft the wrong plates? No, no, no. Wait a minute. Oh. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, actually, that's not that bad. That's not that bad. We have the heavy duty plates. All I need is three more meteors. Three more. Get in my inventory, please. For the love of. What is happening today? Oh, it's my inventory is full. Holy smokes. I am just not with it right now. Okay. So I'm going to I'm going to make an edit right here. We're gonna get this thing ready to go. So basically, we got ten plates. Um, to make these compressed meteoric iron, you just need a meteoric thing, and you, that's they're easy. It's one to one. So I need three more of these. I'm gonna go to the moon. I'm gonna find three more, and I'm gonna craft the uh, dial devices and all this stuff so we can set up a portal in the um, on Mars. Uh, so yeah, I will be right back. All right, all right, hard at work. Here we go. We did it. We've got the heavy duty plates. I am, uh, <laughs> I feel like, I feel kind of like a little bit of an idiot, but it's okay. Because uh, actually the texture that was on the Galacticraft website, when I looked at crafting it was different than, you know, what this texture pack is making it look like for me. So I just, I used my best guess and tried to um, basically just sort of figure that out, but I was wrong. So anyways, here we go. So we need the engine here, the nose cone. What the? Oh, there's particles that happen when you put the things in there. Wait a minute. I want to see that. That would be cool looking. Probably looks like I'm sort of like, well, bang, bang, like, like slamming down on some steel, like, you know, crafting something like hardcore or something like that. Oh, no, not the axe. There we go. I was wondering, like, why this wasn't working. Ha ha. Tier two rocket. Let's put our chests inside. Well, bam. And look at this. We are now, we are now a bat holding a rocket but now we're a chimney swift holding a rocket so here's what we're gonna do while this is uh placed down ooh, look at those boosters those look pretty cool let's start loading the fuel um now let's see inventory and fuel so 10 percent 11 oh this is gonna fill up nice and fast so what i want to do i want to just load this baby up with our stuff so basically what i made uh is the same, sort of the same thing as this right here so we've got a dial device um, we've got our, a couple upgrades, not as many as this guy, um, but we do have the dimensional, the kinetic, and the dialing upgrade, the portal modifier, and then just five obsidian. One, two, three, four, five. So it should be nice and easy. Um, let's go ahead and, uh, you know what? Let's hang on to these because if I crash, if, <laughs> if I crash like I did on my way to, to the moon, we're going to have some problems, right? Um, but I don't think I need anything. I think I've got full oxygen. Once we set up the, uh, the portal, we should be able to get back here very easily. So this is, what is this location? Rocket, uh, fireball thing, rocket. What are those even called? Yeah, fire charge, duh, I, I knew that. Okay, so I think we're, we're full, right? We're full on fuel. So let's stop loading the fuel. Dude, that is efficient. All right, so here we go. Here we go. Space time, launching it up. You guys ready? You guys ready for this? Here we go. Space. Space bar. <laughs> space bar, go to space. How convenient. All right, so once we get out of orbit, well, out of the atmosphere, it will give us a choice. 10, 9, 8, 7. It will give us a choice. Do you want to go to moon or Mars? I'm going to pick Mars. I'm going to pick it. Two, one, here we go. <gasps> Blast off. Yeah. Oh, yes. Now, I don't know why you would want to steer this, right? Like, it gives you, like, buttons to steer your rocket. Why would you want to steer your your rocket? Oh, bye, beautiful Earth. We left from, like, once again, probably mid... Mid-Mexico, kind of? Well, it looks more southern now than I think we really are. Probably, like, southern Texas. It looks like where we're, where we're launching from. Um, but why would you want to steer your rocket? Like, you just need to go straight up, and it just gives you your little prompt. I don't know, maybe it's just a little more customization. Maybe it's so you can fly your rocket around if you're into that sort of thing. I don't really know, I'm not. I just want to get to Mars. So, here we go, we are almost out. So here, aha, yes. Habitable, habitable, no oxygen, no oxygen. So gravity is even, uh, percentage is higher. So here we go, send a dimension, and we're gonna have to start holding space bar, I bet. Wait. Oh. 
What's happening? Oh gosh, hold. Oh. Oh, it's a bouncy air thing. That's amazing. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Whoa, this is awesome. There are circles in Minecraft right now. Holy smokes. This is really cool. The landing on Mars was significantly easier than on the moon. No, no drama with that. Wow, that's cool looking. Please tell me that that shows up on my map. Uh, okay, I've, you guys know, Mars is actually pretty cool, right? Like, okay, let me put a little point here on the map. Um, how do you put a point? There we go. Um, Mars bubble. There we go. Uh, sure, player locations, yep, yep, well bam. Um, so, so if you didn't know, okay, perfect, good, we've got all our stuff. So let me set up a little portal here really quick. Boom, boom. Oh, I should go to bat mode so I can fly around. So, like, I was watching, like, the news the other day, and we've got, so apparently we have, oh, hold on. Apparently we have, like, five, like, we, as in the United States, has in five, uh, like, things orbiting or on Mars. Like, that's crazy! That is so cool, though. Like, really freaking cool. But, man, like, I mean, they were even, I even saw, like, a thingy, I don't know, a week ago or two weeks ago? Um, that was basically, like, these dudes, these scientists talking about how, like, they're shooting to put a man on Mars within, like, the next 30 years. And I was like, that is awesome! That is so cool! Like, that is just, that is, I don't know, I just think that's sweet. That's really, really cool to me. So, alright, so, um, I'm here. I've made it to Mars. I'm the first human on Mars. Um, dial device. Oh, right. We need to put a, we need to set an identifier. So let's make this one rocket clock rocket. Uh, oh, wait. No, 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 no. Let's make this one clock, clock rocket. There we go. Accept. And we're going to set, uh, let's see, the NSFY space research. Center is going to be um, boom, boom, boom. Save, save. So check this out. Dial. Oh, look at this fast travel. <laughs> yes. And now we are back on Earth, just like that. Look at these split. Perfect. Okay, so here we go. So now I just want to explore. I just want to explore Mars because this is pretty beautiful. Now, I don't think there are. Oh no, there are. There are new mobs. I think on Mars, right? They're like the little slimlings and whatnot. Um, and there also are tier two dungeons and there are new blocks. So we have Mars subsurface rock and Mars surface rock. That is pretty cool. You know what? You know what I really do want to just observe and look at for just like a half sec is this bubble that we came in on, right? Because the, I'm pretty sure these things are real in terms of space travel. Like I, I, I've seen them before, whether it was like in a movie or like some sort of documentary or something. But the fact that they put this sucker in Minecraft is really freaking sweet. Entity landing balloons. That is just, that's just too legit, man. That is really freaking cool that they actually did that. I'm kind of impressed. And the fact that it just sort of deployed from my ship, that was sweet. So anyway, so we're just gonna fly around. We're gonna see what we can find. Um, and, oh, what's these? We already found some stuff. Uh, what is this? Yellow slimeling egg. Oh. Can I? How? Hmm. <laughs> interesting. There's something I don't know about. What happens if we touch it? <gasps> I'm afraid. Okay. Nothing happened. Uh, aha. Here we go. Blue slimeling egg. These cannot be. You can't grab those. I am go Oh, there's cows on Mars. I think they're just glitched. Yep, they're just glitched. Um, what I should do is maybe- Oh! Oh! Wait a minute. Are they following me? <gasps> this is those things, the bitey and uh, whatever that, that um, Pungence and Schism had running around Spawn Town. How cool is that? Do they hurt me? They don't. <gasps> you guys are awesome! Unnamed. Oh, what? No! I can name them. Oh. You guys. You guys name them. You name them. 
Pick some names down in the comment section down below. Leave a like and um, I will pick some people. I will pick some names um, from some suggestions. Some, some suggestiones. Uh, but yeah, holy smokes, that is really freaking cool. Are they still following me? <laughs> um, unnamed. <laughs> Hello? Unnamed slimelings. Where are you guys? As I'm just rambling on about things. Where did they go? Oh, here's one. Here they are. Did I fly too fast for you guys? Maybe we should take them back to the, um... We should take them back to the, the ship and let them sit down. Right? They are so slow! Holy smokes! Why are you so slow? Favorite food is fish. Oh, they have like... What is this? Blue, green, red? I don't even know what that is. They have inventories? <gasps> is it like a Tamagotchi? Do I have to like take care of it? Like... I don't, <laughs> I don't even know, man. Well... Um, I wish that they would keep following me faster, please. It's getting dark. <gasps> Whoa, you can see the galaxy up there. That is super cool. All right, come on. I want to take you guys back to my, my base now. Come on now. Quit jumping. The gravity's so low. Come on. Or, er, yeah, gravity's low, I believe. Something like that. Come on, guys. Let's go. Let's go. You just keep teleporting. Just keep teleporting, please. You guys are doing... Everything but following me like the yellow guy seems to be doing it, but the blue guy is just I, well, at least that time I don't really even know come on. Yes. Yes that teleportation. We need it. That's that space technology dog. Come on. Yes. There it is. Oh Oh, oh, oh Okay Are these new? No, these are just the normal evolved ones get him Get him. Yes. Okay, so stuff can spawn in. I don't like it. I Don't like it. All right. Come on so we have surface mobs up here, which is worse than the moon. Um, the moon, it seemed that they only spawned in... Come on, guys, let's go. It, it seemed like on the moon, they only spawned like in caves and stuff like that. But look, we got a, we have a very real problem on our hands right here. Ladies and gentlemen, this is bad. So we're going to need to light up this area. Ah, uh, it's really uh, hitting hardcore there, that, that uh, the proc on that. Um, that special hat that I'm wearing. Holy smokes. Look, I just want to be able to put down my little slimelings and tell them to sit. Or maybe they don't obey me yet. Do I need to feed them fish? Oh my gosh. Problems. What the heck? What happened to my space bubble? I popped it. Oh. Oh, give me this. I need that rocket back. <gasps> For crying alert! I hate Mars. I hate it. Already not feeling it. There's too many. There's... <laughs> There's too many monsters on Mars. Come on, kill it. All right, perfect. Now, once all this mayhem just calms down, can I actually tell them, sit? Oh, yes. And if you just stay there, you actually give me a freaking chance to explore, uh, to explore everything. All right, so let me put this stuff away. We've got rocket launch pad. In our tier 2 rocket. I don't need this, and I don't need this, and I don't need that. We'll just leave that here. Alright, we're going back. We're going back in. Okay, so you guys are sitting. Good. Good slimelings. Good. Good job. Alright, where do I want to go? There's supposed to be dungeons. I don't know what those look like yet, but I think they'll probably stand out on the map, right? Like, like, sort of like uh, the moon, where um, those, you know, the holes in the ground were like way more distinct, and you could really sort of I, like very obviously just be like oh cool on my map. That is a dungeon and I'm thinking that that's probably gonna be the same thing here for Mars I just haven't come across a visual of that yet, so I don't know what to expect, but um We will we will be getting we I, I do want to go maybe next episode into a uh, a dungeon a, a tier 2 dungeon would look pretty cool um, It would be probably a Pretty fun episode. I've actually never even seen footage of that. I don't even know what the boss is. I don't know. Like with the moon, I knew because generic had brought back, you know, like a um uh one of those bosses and he put them in my house. So I kind of knew that what those were from. Um, but the tier two stuff, man, for for Mars, I have no freaking clue. Dude, this 
I mean, I'm just going to, I wish it was daytime, but I'm just going to take a screenshot of that. Like that's, that's just awesome looking. It's very, it's very cool. Very, very cool. Um, what, uh, you've got these little pockets of caverns, right? Whoa. Mars stone. I want some of this. Oh man, that's so cool, just everything floats. So that's pretty sweet. Um, we could explore caves, I don't know, I don't, oh I'm out of, oh what's this, dash. Oh, this is the stuff that we need, the dash ore. Okay, but I'm out of the torches and, oh gosh, I hear growling stuff. I'm gonna work on getting some of that later. I really just kinda wanted to f give like a flyover today in this episode of the uh, terrain, the, the generated terrain of Mars. And so far, I'm actually pretty pleased. Like, even just having mobs come out at night actually gives you a little bit more to do. Um, whereas, like, the moon just, it just sort of felt, I mean, you had your, you know, your villages and stuff, but the, the villagers didn't do anything. So going out and trying to search for those was really kind of pointless. Um, but, you know, like, Mars, like, you can at least fight recognizable monsters and stuff at night, which is kind of cool. But, uh, yeah, guys, that's going to do it for today's episode of Attack of the Beat. Wait, what is this? What is this? Red slimeling egg. Is that going to hatch? Bump. I don't even know, man. I'm right-clicking it. Nothing's happening. Um, so there's red slimelings, blue slimelings, yellow. There's got to be, like, green, right? Yeah, we already came across green. Yeah, 100% there's green. Yeah, so there's red, green, blue and yellow so far that I've that I've noticed. That's kind of sweet. Um, but yeah, guys, that's going to do it for today's episode of Attack of the Beat Team. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, guys, please, please, please hit that like button down below for me. It really does help me out. And um, also, leave me some comments. Let me know what you want me to name those two slimelings that I have. Why, why not eat this? There we go. Uh, but anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.